So then, mate, some uh, some nice tackle all ready to go. Talk me through where we're going to fish because, I mean, I look at these sort of places. Even when I, I remember when I first came here, and I just thought. I don't even know where to start. Obviously, no. traditionally you think long range, but there's loads of things to look for, isn't there? Obviously, on these venues, it can be quite daunting. You get here and there's obviously a massive expanse of water. Yeah. Now, you've got to do a little bit of research. You've got to maybe just ring a bailiff, ring, give a call to someone who's fished the venue a few times, just find a little bit about the venue. Fortunately, we've visited the venue a few times. We know several people are fishing the venue at the minute. We know that these swims are particularly weedy. There's always quite a few bits and bobs of weed in mm. this area. Mm. But that often means that there's fish in the area as well. So it's all about finding a clear spot. Yeah. And hopefully we can set our little dinner table in amongst the weed. Right. The fish feel happy in the weed. So how are you, you going to go about doing that? Because obviously, I mean, these big lakes, you can't, they're not like your commercial. There's going to be weed everywhere. Fairy Meadows in particular is notorious for weed. So what are we actually looking for? Because you mentioned there like fishing in the weed. Are we? You know, what are we looking for? Right, Lee, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a chuck out. I'm okay. going to chuck my bomb out, 50, 60 metres, and I'm just going to have a feel. I just want to see what the depths are. Okay, I gotcha. know that it deepens off as you, the further we go left along yeah. this bank. Yeah. So we're roughly on the like, the cusp of like the deep water here, but yeah. we could still be in some shallow water. We might be chucking in like... Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue what depth we're no, going to have. No. no, obviously we can't tie it by looking at the surface. So what I want to do is just have a chuck out. I'm just yeah. going to chuck it 50, 60 metres and just see what depth we've got. So there you go, nothing special, just chucked it out. Well, that, didn't bomb, even, hit the, that <laughs> bomb hit the water. Didn't even get a count. So literally, it is really shallow. You yeah. Know, four foot, five foot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, it's an ounce bomb. But we're yeah. casting a long distance. So, and you can see, this is what I always like to do as soon as that first cast. That stuck in weed, that is. We're, ja we're jammed. I thought it might have been like silt or sand to start with, but we're jammed. That's weed, isn't it? In weed, yeah. So like for those guys at home, look at his tip, bending right round. He's not he's not pulling its head off. He'll be able to pull his bomb out of there, but that is in weed. A lot of weed in the water. I'm just gonna come back here just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, four or five turns. Again, weed. It's heavy, it looks heavy, Rob. Your bomb looks you heavy. You can see this this weed in the margins, Lee. Yeah, there's a lot of weed. And if we're not careful, we could be just chucking in a big pile of weed. So it's my yep. task now to try and find a clear spot. So what I'm just going to do, yep. it doesn't matter with the depth at the minute. No, so no, I'm chucking no. in weed, it doesn't matter what depth it is. No. I want to just find a clear spot and then we'll think about depth in a minute. It looks like we... So a bit further? Yeah, I'm just going to go a bit further. I'm going to go slightly to the left as well. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, you had about two second count we've got there, two noticed, second count. So yeah. we've got about, what, six foot? Yeah, five, six foot, yeah. yeah. So let's just... Oh, oh hang hey on. Up. Right. I'm excited. I am a little bit excited as well. Okay. That's not weed. That's not weed. That's, so that's bumping. That looks, that looks gravelly. That's bumping. And it look, I tell you what, this looks quite a lot big. Right, mm. now we've pulled now into, into weed. some weed. So you what? You pulled that, what, three or four metres at least, didn't you? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, mate. Yeah. I'm just going to take off... From that weed, yeah. From that weed, I'm going to take off one meter. Two so every meters, time you're going to your eye, there, that's meters, half a meter, isn't it? Four meters. I'm going to take off four meters. Yeah. So I'm going to go past the weed four meters. I'm going to clip up again, and I'm just going to see if I can chuck. And that's see if that a clear same spot. thing happens again. Yeah. So for you guys watching at home, what Rob's done there is he's chucked out with his bomb, and as he was dragging it back, it was bouncing. It was clearly bouncing over gravel, stone, whatever it might be. It wasn't silt, but more importantly, it wasn't going heavy with weed until he came three or four metres back, and then it was back to that, oh, no, I'm wedged in I'll weed. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well, mate, because we're not looking for a depth now. We're looking for, we're looking for bottom, because I okay, think yeah. depth-wise, it's, it's five or six foot. Okay. I've got a little it's just a second, bob second world war bomb. It's a little knobbly bobbly look. But you'd be really surprised yeah, with what no, this I love tells those you. Legs, mate. Yeah, I love so them. Yeah. slightly heavier than an ounce. It grabs any little bits of weed that are on the bottom, but you'll see. I mean if, if, we this, can hit, if you chuck this that bomb in weed, it won't you'll be able to have a job on moving yeah. it. Yeah. But the same token, if we can chuck it back on that little gravel spot that we've just found. Yeah. The rod tip will be rattling like mad. Yeah, you know, okay, it just yeah. magnifies everything. So it's a little bit heavier than an ounce. We're going to chuck it to that clip. Oh, 
Right, let's so just tighten see. that right up. Now that is not getting stuck in weed so at all. So now you can see. Not at all. We're coming back, we're coming back. That was another two metres at least. You've yeah. come. Three metres. Ah, now four. we're in that weed Hang again. On, you just moved it four metres. Four metres. And you're back to the weed. That, that was, that well, was not luck then, is it? It's not luck. And that cast was slightly to the right of where we've just, with the original cast. So there must be like a so stop the, point in the weed. There must be a nice, look, you can see there. Yeah, now you're in the lock weed. Lock solid. Yeah. Lock solid. So. What my job now is to do is I'm going to have a cast. So we're, we're, we're absolutely lock solid in that weed. I tell you what, if we do hook a decent fish today, we might struggle to get it out. There's some tension this late. That'll be fun. We'll see what we can do. This is the downside of using the your knobbly bomb. The knobbly you, bobbler. You pulled your knobbly bomb into your <laughs> weed, haven't you? Yeah. He's coming though, isn't he? He's coming out. Um, what my job is to do now is just see. We obviously know that that strip of weed, that strip of gravel, is at least four or five meters mm. wide. Mm. Let's just see how how far left and right we can cast. Oh, okay, because yeah. I think we've just so you that what, I, what you're saying is it's pretty obvious there is a stop point where there is a big bed of weed. Yeah. You've gone past it, and now you want to know if it's just a, an, a, an area yeah. or if it's I want just, to see in just general... how big, how how wide that area is. Yeah. Now. I know it's because ideally, Rob, you don't want to be fishing a million miles from that weed. But at the same time, like you've just mentioned, if you hook a fish. You've got to be able to get it up. Exactly. So I don't want to be casting right on the edge of it. Look at the weed he's winding right, in here, by the way. This obviously tells us what um, what we're dealing with as well. So so once it came out of that, that's why we know there's a clear difference between weed and not weed. Because it's, just hold that up for the camera, Rob. I'm going to, yeah. So look, that's what we're dealing with today. <laughs> All right. But you don't have to be scared of it, do you? you no, if we, can go, if we can fish past that weed, yep. And we can find a clear spot. The fish love that weed. They love it, yeah. The yeah. fish absolutely love that weed. They love travelling along the side of it. They feel safe. They can feed in it. You know, it's perfect. It's, yeah, yeah. it's the anglers that's going to struggle with, with dealing with the weed. Yeah. If we can find a clear spot, then we're laughing. So, where are you going to go here? Slightly to the left of where I've just cast. So, we're hoping now. So, now we're probably two metres to the left. Is, dream will be three can, metres of nothing. Like that. Here we go. <laughs> That'll do, won't it? Yeah, will it? That is brilliant. So again, I will. And I then we're just say, coming into that weed there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do? I, I don't. I don't leave it in the water too long. No. So I have yeah. to drag back a bear in mind two ton as, of weed. Bear in mind as well, Rob, because um, you're chucked a bit further left. You're actually coming in a bit closer yeah, as well. Yeah, I suppose the arc is different, isn't no. it? That weed looks lovely. The weed. Good the luck weed. when you hook one, pal. Uh, listen. If we hook one of those big tents that are in here, we haven't got a chance, have we? You're not getting that big tent no, out, no, no, mate. No, no, no. Hopefully those bream roll up about on the surface and you can pull them over the top. So my job now is to stick it up at this distance, because I'm happy with that distance. Yeah. I mean, looking at it, what was it? 60 metres, something it like that? It looks about 60 metres, yeah. 60 and a bit, maybe. Which is a, it's a nice distance, you know. We've got, so, we've got proper gear. So we'll, what about a chuck short of the weed? Right. Let's is there a, a is there a chuck short of the weed? Let's have a let's have a go, shall we? Should we yeah, just we'll I chuck, wonder, I'll tell you what, what we'll chuck out the knobbly bobbler. We'll we'll just chuck, chuck it out, out like thirty five meters. My concern like is, mate, that the weather as obviously we've turned we've gone from being really nice, hot and sunny, yeah, where I would expect fish to be in shallow water, to quite overcast, yeah, low yeah, air pressure. Yeah, yeah. I just think the fish are going to push out and just be in slightly deeper water. Let's have a. So that is. See, look, that's inside that, the weed. That's that inside the weed there. So there's obviously so, a bank so of weed, a, isn't there? There's a bank of weed, probably by the feel of it, 50 to 60 meters out. A I wonder how far you but can here we push. go. Look, we're in again. Yeah, yeah. So, but there was a core of core without it, wasn't there? That's interesting. So if you had have wanted to go for a two-line approach, I know that's not on our mind today. No, but a two-line approach, we could have you could have a second could line. Find, probably find a just clear see, spot. Just, I wonder how far that second... Let's have a look. A bit further. Yeah, I mean, that's like 30 metres you just chucked there, I'd say. That's no weed, that is. No weed there. I'll tell you what, on a windy day, if you actually look at the water yeah. now, guys, so you take a little look at the water, the wind isn't even on the water till about 50 metres. But I tell you, on another day, when it was not, that's about 40 metres you've chucked there. On another day... So there we go, we I could, we, you know You what? could fish inside that we weed, could in, We could, in theory, fish inside that weed because it's not so bad. But you know what, that knobbly bomb... Yeah. Isn't it magnifying everything? No, it's amazing. It's, it's giving you an amazing opportunity to see what's going on. 
What I really like is there is obviously a 10, 15 metre strip of weed from say 45 metres ish to 60 metres, mm -hmm. isn't there? Roughly. And you've now got the choice whether you fish past it or short of it. Like you said, you've got a bright dragon back. Yeah. So Let's it's just see quite... how far we can go up to that weed then. Let's yeah. just have a look. Right, That's in the weed. straight into the weed. Yeah. So, so if we go any further than what, 40 metres? That looks about 40 metres, yeah. We're yeah. into the weed. So there's, there's probably a big bank of weed, you know, between 40 and 20 feet. metre bank of yeah. weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I, look. Why don't you go past it for today? We're pleasure fishing today. I think we'd catch inside it. I think we'd catch inside it. In a I, match, you might want to push wanna, your distance I wanna, on. I want to push our kit and push our distance and then, you know, show the guys if the a, worst case scenario. For a match, but, you, you imagine in a match, if you're the only one past it, man, you've got such a better chance oh, of catching. Oh, massive advantage. Yeah, yeah. But we're up against it today. Yeah. Not just, obviously, yeah. the fish we've got to contend with. We've got to contend yeah. with well, when other you talk, things When you well. start talking about hook lengths, I'm, I'm assuming we're... Your we're gear gonna be, is going yeah, to we're gonna reflect this. the fact that we're fishing for decent fish. <laughs> decent fish in, in, and then trying to drag them over that weed. Right, okay, brilliant. Well, I think that's really interesting. I think that shows why you set that method up as well. Um, and what I'd like to do now... Please tell me I can put some bait in. Yes, you can stick Thank up. Thank you. You can stick up, tell other guys the distance, and we'll start fishing. If you love your fishing and you want to get better at fishing and catch more fish, why not subscribe to our website, The Edge, www.anglingedge.co.uk. There you will find feature length videos, detailed videos showing you how to catch more fish. You can also join our members section. Really easy, the members section on YouTube. Click to join, you'll get access to all of those feature length videos.